G'day from WA. Hi, this is Julie. Welcome to my channel. And today we're doing the Margaret Miller CW Planner number 29. I did kind of start, but then I remembered I <laughs> haven't turned the camera on. So I've paused and uh, or I stopped. So this was actually number uh, 28, the last one that I did in this book. So there was enough pages to do the challenge in this book, but as you can see, it's getting quite thick. And there's no way I can do five more months um, for the rest of the year, uh, even though I've got enough pages. It just, you know, it'll be it'll just be too thick. So I thought well, I'll end on a high note. I really enjoyed this this one I did. So I'm going to leave that as the last one. I'll probably take those pages out, and um, it's really nice paper. Um, so we'll close that one up, and so that one's done. And so. I looked around for a book that I could use uh, for the second half of the year. Just going to use an altered book. It's a children's story, um, and I don't like the story. I uh, don't particularly like the artwork either. And it's, it's from, I don't know, 1979 or some sort of old date. But anyway, the story is silly. So <laughs> I'm going to just start from here and um, do one per page. So I think I mentioned that I wanted a slightly bigger book. So the page you can see is another, well, almost probably about 30% bigger So uh, and sort of squarish. So I'm going to do one per page. I may as well start here on the inside cover. I'm not going to bother with the instructions or anything. I think the way I'm going to work this is have a look through what I've got and pick out my main focal item. Just going to put these over here so these are kind of going to be background pages but cover up that ugly that ugly page so I've got so summer to me is the main focal point where's the prompts <laughs> that would be helpful it must be here oh. <laughs> oh gosh okay so I I had put them put them safe so let's just get rid of the I can't wait to do some collaging on here and get rid of the ugly. <laughs> the first thing is something begins with N. Struggled a little bit. The first thing I came up with was actually Newton. But, yeah, he didn't really go with anything else that I had. So I thought I'd better look for something else. Went to my dictionary pages for the children's books. Um, for N. But, no, I didn't like any of those. Just got the letter N. And, oh, I picked this one. So it's just a little watercolour nest. So I quite like that. And then this flower is uh, Narcissus. So that was the something beginning with N was the those items. I've got Narcissus and Nest and Newton. So I'll put those to the side. Okay, piece of a oh piece of postcard. Oh, I think I've forgotten the postcard. I'll have to pause the camera and go looking for the postcard. Oh, how did I forget that? A uh, piece of colouring book page. So I've got a few little pieces here. So there's, if I do want a little piece, it depends what which piece I use. I cut one of these up that somebody had already coloured in. It was like a card. It's quite thick. And the same with this one, but not coloured in. I've also got colouring. There were adult colouring books that I had that I used to muck around with for coloured pencils. So I've got that one's kind of finished. And that one I apparently got bored, but I, I might fussy cut the butterfly out. So... That's also a possibility for colouring in book. Put those to one side. What else? Uh, it's a measurement of something, even if you write it out. So I've got a few things. Okay, all my measurements are here. So I have this kind of like an encyclopedia explanation thing and sort of a science one. And so it's got all these interesting science things in there. So these are all measurements. Possibility of that. And then there's these. Um, sound waves, so a measurement of sound waves. Okay, so measurements. I've got quite a few pieces that I can use. Oh, strangely, everything's in yellow again. What is going on with the yellow? I'll just pop those over there. Uh, something in a geometric shape besides rectangular. So I pretty much went for circles. So I've got a, quite a few things that have circles. So there's some circles in there. I've got this piece of a circle from a tissue box, which I can tuck that in so you can't see that. I've got some paper which I started to rip this up and has circles on it. This one has circles. There's a piece of triangular paper. There's some pieces of a paint box. 
lots and lots of circles as an enjoy the day which I'd like to try and use and then yes the bonus was something that represents summer which is where I started <laughs> so to me that's the feature although the postcard could be a feature too but for some reason I didn't remember postcard so I might have to pause and go looking for a postcard in case I prefer that these are my summer ones that looks like a summer forest this little kid looks like he's in summer so bring it a bit so you can see it better uh, summer field this one will come out of a book people's friends so I've went off Daphne's diary so I'm going to sort of stay clear from Daphne's diary as much as possible because I'm a bit bored with looking through the same magazines all the time I've got about I've got like 10 or 12 of them but um, so I went into my bookcase and uh, searched out other books but this is probably my favorite which is why I started to tear it down. To me, it looks like summer without even to explain. I mean, these could be spring, it could be could be anything, but deck chairs on the beach, somewhere like Blackpool. I think it's actually probably is Blackpool. Postcard. I'm going to pause the video and look for a postcard because I missed that part. Because I really liked this, I did go and find a Blackpool postcard I had to get an image of one because I didn't have one so it's just a printout of a Blackpool postcard but you can see the beach there and and of course all of the buildings and the tower and everything there's the fun fair here so I went to Blackpool when I was a child and then again when we went back to the UK as a family we went back to Blackpool as well so I've got fond memories of Blackpool except Going on the Big Dipper was terrifying <laughs> when I was 15. When I was 7 I loved it, but when I was 15, no way. <laughs> I want to try to make the Blackpool thing work. I do like these pictures, but I might have to use them. I can't use them all, so let's put them to the side. And if I can't get this one to work, we'll change. Uh, so we've got the Blackpool, and I had started tearing it out because I wanted to do torn edges. But... And then I'm thinking, well, shall I tear this into a couple of pieces? That's a possibility. So they're the, they're the two things, a piece of postcard and summer. And then the next important piece that I quite like is a piece of colouring book. I really like the butterfly. There's another butterfly there, but I like this one better. I might fussy cut this butterfly and have him at the corner because I do think that he kind of <clears throat> matches the colour scheme. So I'm quite happy with him so I've cut that out and I might just ink probably should have drawn around it in in like a thick black pen and then cut to those edges but I didn't think of that until I'd already started cutting it I just wanted to define the edges yes it's not going to quite do it no I don't want to do that I don't want it to look like it's inked I want it to look like it's the pen so i will use uh, black sharpie i think and just go around the edge like this so that it doesn't i don't want it going into the picture i just want it to be a kind of a neat edge neat black edge get rid of the white but make it look like it's part of the coloring book black feels like i used yeah i must have used um Actual coloured pencils, not watercolour pencils. It was really waxy. I got them ages ago. I did a few pictures, but pretty time consuming, I have to say. The books. Doodle Design. I've got about six of them. Um, yeah, you can see they're quite detailed. And the thing I didn't like about it was they don't give you the picture, what it should look like. Some of these ones with the bigger spaces, they might be easy to do, you know, flowers and butterflies, you can do them whatever colour you like. That one actually wouldn't be too bad to colour, because you can figure the colours out, but sometimes you just, I don't know, I don't know what colour to do things. Um, but anyway, I've got about six of those books. Okay, and then there's the antennas. Um, what I'll do, and just colour that in easier to do it now rather than on the page so I like him I really like to use that flat that butterfly and um, I know he's a bit big but 
<laughs> can I make it work? That's why I wanted a bigger, bigger page. So we're going to make this happen. Okay. And I'm not saying that's the background. I just wanted to work on something that wasn't that ugly background. Um, get my design sort of and the pieces. Get the pieces that I've cho chosen. So I've got Nest <clears throat> for something beginning with N. I've got Newton, who I'm not, probably not going to use him. That was the first thing I thought I found. Oh, what I do like is these flowers. So the Narcissus. So they're a strong possibility. They're in the no pile. I'd like enjoy your day somewhere, but I'd like to put it on something. I don't know what yet. I've got this, um, and I've got these. So I needed measurement, so I picked out a whole bunch of things that have measurements on them. So we've got two thermometers, but I don't want the white one, so we'll put that in a no pile. We've got these, you know, radio wave kind of measurements. But I like the thermometer because I'm thinking I'm going to extend the red up to 100 degrees because that's what it gets to in Australia. Um, <laughs> 70 degrees Fahrenheit might be an English summer. <laughs> I don't know. Although apparently it's quite hot this year, I think. Uh, so anyway, the thermometer. And then I've got these if I need extra bits. What else? Uh, we also need something geometric. So now I quite like this because of the red colouring, although it's a bit, looks a bit pink on camera. But I'm going to cut the numbers off so we don't use those. So this is probably the only bit that did come from Daphne's diary. I just got a bit bored looking through all of the Daphne's diary all the time. And I like this because it looks like it matches that postcard <laughs> strangely uh, I also like that flower so we'll see I'm going to cut off that thermometer thing and then we've got to look for our geometric oh we've got triangles um, I really wanted circles but I've got triangles I'm not sure how they happened yep I had this, so that's why I was thinking about this hollow butterfly. Um, that's what gave me the idea of the butterfly. But I don't know something wrong with these scissors. They don't cut. <laughs> Not much use having scissors that don't cut, hey. Hmm. Not sure what's wrong with them. So this is what gave me the other uh, the idea of the butterfly was Butterfly summer, here in the lazy hours of leisure, under the azure summer skies, sun-coloured flowers flaunt their treasure, tempting the passing butterflies. Well, I think we only need the first part. I don't need all of it. These are better, at least these cut. So, because I've only got half the red, although I do like the red border. Well, I'll keep it for now. I don't want the rest of that poem. So, I might just have that in there somewhere. Butterfly summer. don't really want that either. I quite like this. So let's cut that off here. All right, can I trim that off? Back in a second. So I cut that off the bottom because I really would like to use that. I think it looks a bit like a sunflower and it's got the orange and the red colouring. And I want to make that... Do I want to make that go up? I kind of do. So I'm going to put it up to 100 degrees. As to me. That's pretty much summer here. There we go. If I do it all the way down, it should. Okay. All right, so we've measured. That's our measurement. Uh, I might actually cut that little bobble off the top. I don't think I like it. Yep. So we've got our thermometer. I like that. All right, so what the things that we definitely want. Okay, we definitely want the... Might have to move this across somehow. And we'll put some other colour down here. And then we're going to put this at the side like that at an angle. Yep. And that's going to go on there somewhere, like maybe like that. And then the butterfly, we'll just need it to go a little bit as far to that side as we can. 
butterfly is going to fly away over here. I like to keep the building in because to me that's the part that's significant. Well, the deck chairs, I just I just remember deck chairs on the beach at Blackpool. <laughs> now, unfortunately, we've got it that's torn and that all everything else is not. I kind of wish I hadn't torn that now. Shame. But I can always cover it up with something. We've got our flower to come in. Oh, don't want it at the same angle. Up to the side, maybe. And so we wanted this because it matched the colour scheme. So we we'll can put that across the bottom. Let's change this. We'll have this on this side. Like that, maybe. And we'll have this on this side. Like that, maybe. This will come onto here. Perhaps. Okay, maybe the narcissus. Um, oh, uh, hello, butterfly summer. Now, uh, what I might do, yeah, I think I will, even though I do like the red border, I'm going to cut it off and ink it, I think. Yep. Black or red? I'll try it in red. Try not to get it all over the place so we've got the triangle now i'm not sure if i like the triangle pieces um actually you know the color matches looking at it it looks like it's far too dominant not really what i wanted so i've got this which has got circles in it and a date and i think the colors go well so if that was to go there cool now I think I'd like to have some different patterns around the outside. Yes, I thought I did in my coloured scraps box. I've got these pieces left over, so definitely while well, you're using those instead. And then the green, I might use some of the green. The bigger circles. Not sure that I like that one. Let's put that out. So let's just put some of this in. Break up that blank yellow. Well, I might just actually cut this um, out, then I can place this wherever I want it and use the offcuts. So this is not counted as the shapes, it's counted as the, the flower that I like. And this one. Okay. More of the circle part. Put some of this green down here, maybe. And we can always put this here, like that. Okay, now, <clears throat> looking in the camera, that black pole is really jumping out, whereas my focal point was meant to be I wonder if I ought to have printed out the black pool a bit smaller. Or should I have let's just cover that up for now and just see. Should I just have the postcard with the flowers around it? That might be better, mightn't it? Yeah, I think I like it smaller. I can always print it again if I don't like it. So let's cut it at the angle. Um, well, I'll try and Cut it straight across there. And make sure I'm going to like that. I don't know if I want that. Plus, some I've decided I want that. Um, I might cut this out to the red box. Just like the colours in it. I think I might have to kind of fussy cut this. 
are you just supposed to cut the top? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to get rid of the square. It's turning out to be smaller and smaller and smaller. So it's kind of a circle. Not really enough room for that butterfly there. Might have him over here. Yeah, he's got more room. And he, he, yeah, I like him on the yellow. Yeah, he might not be able to have this at all, actually. Doesn't seem to be. So we've got dots, for, and we've got circles here for geometric shapes. A lot. Um, unless we can just get one triangle in. I'll cut one triangle out, and we'll see if we like it. I don't mind that. So this little corner I don't mind. I wonder if I should trim it. Even though I'm, I know I'm cutting off those flags. I just don't like the torn edges now. I guess it doesn't matter if it's can't see all of it. I'll just leave that. I'll leave those. So I'd really prefer, probably prefer not to have the ones that are straight with the squares because we're supposed to be going for circles. So let's cut this into two pieces. And we can have one down here. Can have this at the side. Butterfly can cover up that corner. Mm. Um, I have to keep this 1965 part. So I'll put that up here. We just cut the bottom of the deck chairs off. I was trying to do torn edges, but yeah, it hasn't really happened. Oh, I do like that next to the pit, next to the summer scene. Look, might look okay up there. I'm going to neaten it up a little bit. I need to get one, but they're really expensive. Yeah, must have punched not big enough. That'll be okay. Some more of this here might be okay. Well, it's sort of coming together. Blackpool. Maybe it goes there. Maybe let's try one of these circles. I'll try cutting it out. This can be a geometric shape or something that measures. It doesn't really tell you what it's measuring unless you read the writing. It says pressure. Pressure equals two times P. But yeah, not anything to me. The thermometer I thought was, oh yeah, the thermometer's good. I like that. It's measuring something and it's measuring summer. Let's ink it. Okay, so now where's that piece that this I wonder if I cut this to the flower stems, if they've made the flower fairly geometric, it might go inside that. I think because I've cut 
fussy cut that. I think I might have to fussy cut the whole thing. Okay. So that's made it a bit smaller, I think. So that might work better. A touch of white there to sort of balance that. We probably need a third one. Maybe we need to cut this one out as well. Barbara says you need three in a triangle to balance things and draw your eye in. Let's see if we can add this circle to create some triangular balancing acts. I think we can throw that away. A bit of red around it. Where is it that? That pull? Maybe not that top of that. Maybe that. And up in the corner oh that's all right because he's sort of flying towards the flower and it kind of looks like a sun i don't know it's a bit weird but it's a circle sort of thing we have to stick down first is the i think it's fairly obvious as long as i get this in the right place i just want to cover up that line that shouldn't be too hard All right, that's where it is. That's where it's going. Let's hope it's right. Look, yep, on the corner of that, so we can put that one on. Flower, I think, oh, the butterfly, I think, is so a definite. We can put him on. And you're going to stick on there. Oh, well, it's there now. Okay. Yeah, I think that brings it together a bit better. So we're going to put the triangle on next. I think it was there. Hopefully. Yep, that should be okay. And the flower for N. Oh, whoops. I haven't put the... Um, Oh dear. Because before I used to do a tuck spot, and I wasn't going to do a tuck spot on this in this book because I don't think I have much room to have folded pieces of paper tucked in. So I was going to put a label and write it on in calligraphy. Like Rachel does, well she just writes it on her own handwriting. Um, mm, but I haven't got a label. Well, I might be able to f fit the label in. Let's, you know, if I did a label there. All right, so I need a bigger label than that. Okay, and this bit in the front. Yeah, see them here. Um, they're not labels there. That one is. I'll have a look at them in a minute. Just getting all the ones out that we've got the choices of. Of pre made labels. Let's see if there's any with here. First of all, they're hunting. Oh, well. Well, this fits quite nicely because it it's round. It measures time, and we can if we can fit those on, that might work. I have to write very small. Mm, I might just put a bit of colour on it. Mm, what colour? A bit of nude, I think. This colour, bisque. <laughs> oh yeah, let's take away the. Even though it's not bright white, it's still kind of brighter than everything else on the page.
Yep, that's cool. Let's do that. Oh, it's a sticker. <laughs> I want to cover both that and that, and that I can't. Darn. Um. Next one, nope. Okay, and and now we've got to decide about that. So without, oh yeah, I think without. Goodbye, flower. Sorry. So the video that I had, I was editing, sort of ended pretty abruptly. Uh, sorry about that. So the last few things that I did haven't been recorded. So I just it wasn't it wasn't very much, but I added the little enjoy your day. I just felt that it went with those flowers and I just wanted something, you know, like to sort of match the outing to Blackpool. Um obviously I've added the little flower, so <laughs> I just wanted to get the flower on. This one I haven't added yet, I'm not convinced. So I think just just half a flower will be enough to um, give that flower life. And the other thing I did was I went round the background. I felt like um, when I saw the editing of the video, it was the background didn't seem to be integrated to the collaging. Even though I haven't stamped over most of the collaging, I didn't want the I didn't want the stamping to come onto the pieces. But just here and there, and I think it just sort of. I don't know, perhaps makes it look like it's a piece, uh, one piece. Now, I'm, I'm not sure if it will come out on the screen, so I'm going to go up closer so that you can see the stamping. Just just here and there. And and while we're here at the black pool, I just went around the outside of it with a white pen. I think that actually brightened it up quite a lot. And, yeah, so just some red stamping, which I think sort of integrated the pieces. A little bit better. Hope I'm not making anyone dizzy or sick from that. Um, so, so that's the page. I really quite like how it's turned out. Uh, yes, it's <laughs> continuing the yellow theme. We'll see if we can do something in a different colour. Although the last page, 28, was was blue, and this one's um, yellow. Uh, I guess I just notice every time I use yellow, but that's fine. So yeah, really quite happy with with how it turned out. I think I actually cut out a lot of the times where I pointed out the pieces. So in the end we have Narcissus, starts with N. The piece of a postcard is an image I had printed out, so those are two pieces from it. Colouring page is the butterfly. Uh, measurement was the measurement of summer, 100 degrees or thereabouts. And the geometric besides rectangle, I've got uh, triangles, a couple of those. Circles in the background paper and some circles up here. Bonus represents summer, so my deck, my deck chairs at what I think might or might not be Blackpool Fair Fairground. I think it was called Pleasure Pleasure Beach, which is here in the postcard. I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and thank you also to my new subscribers. There's been a, a couple of new ones recently. Thank you very much, and thank you to anyone else who's watched and liked and commented on my videos. It's much appreciated. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.